What is up guys? Me again and welcome to another Around the World of 8 Days. And here we go. The sky crept over the horizon the next morning. The train roared into the valley of the Ganges. It was scary. It scared the river in India. It, it traveled all day reaching Kataka at 7pm on October 25th with 5 hours to spare. Both the steamer left. Thaddeus Fogg had his passport stamp and went off with passport and Albert to see the city. Detective, Detective Fix had also reached Kataka by train. He was still suffering the agonies of his bumpy bicycle ride to Adaba and was in, in a very bad mood. Fix First task on arrive, I mean in Kaska was to hurry into the main police station to see if the warrant for Mr. Fox's arrest had arrived. He was furious when he discovered that once more the he was still ahead out of the warrant. Fex check with the local stamp epping office and learn that Fabius Fogg was booked on the steamship Rangoon that afternoon for the voyage to Hong Kong. There was only one thing he could do, and that was to buy a ticket, buy a ticket to Hong for Hong Kong uh, himself. Before leaving, he sent another telegraph message to Scotland Yard. I am in Kata. Ward for arrest for Mr. Fogg has still not arrived. Please forward it immediately. Hong Kong Police Headquarters, Detective Fix. Fix boarded the Rangoon for a quick and quickly re went and head in of the in his cabin. He didn't want to be seen because he just wanted to observe part of Fallius Fogg for a while. He was peering out of his peephole window when Mr. Fogg passed the out and Aurora arrived on the boat. The, the risk goes off again, he said to himself, but I shall I'll follow him to the, ends of the, the end of the world if necessary. If he, he does not commit new by the back. A like robbery, and then by nay, aim, aim is mud. If he didn't commit the bay, a like robbery, then my name is mud. It was then that he realized that Mr. Fogg and Passport Out was not alone. The woman between them was obviously traveling in their party. The flurry idea flurried through Fake's mind. Was the woman Mr. Fogg's accomplice? Or he was all, or were all three of them in the robbery. There was another thing that worried Detective Fix at that moment. He had to see how, see how much money Fallius Fogg had been spending. What with, with all this new clothes, ship and train tickets, and everything else, the man must have. It's been five thousand pounds of the poor key from the robbery already. Fix knew that he that the more Fallius Fogg spent, the less would be received when he arrest him. Recover when he arrest him. The detective saw his reward bounty getting sm similar smaller and smaller. Blast the man, he cursed. I must arrest him soon, or else there'll be no reward left at all. Yet, it wasn't just at the money. Fix was looking forward to the glory and fame for catching the most famous bank robbery of the ages. And that's all for today. See ya.